Hello, my name is Jan. I'm from website Photo Bohemian, and I'd like to show you that you really do not need much time to do a good edit. That you really, within 10 seconds, you're able to alter, to edit your photo, that it really changes dramatically. Uh, well, I do a lot of trainings and students always tell me, oh, I need a lot of time and I need a lot of time to train to do it. So, all right, I downloaded that uh, free photo editor called Polar or Polar or whatever, however you pronounce it. And yes, indeed, it's, it's, it's free of charge and I like it because it doesn't really have more uh, options than you need, which is quite unique. It's... It's simple, it's free, and it's very, very effective. And let me just show you that you really can do a lot within 10 seconds. Right, so I decided to use that little shot from Venice, from Italy, and you literally need just a, a couple of movements. Well, as you can see here on the right side, you have some very simple navigation. 80% uh, of anything you need to do lies here in light. And now, typically, you might move with that in the first place, like exposure, that you just make it a little bit lighter. Right, and then let's move highlights towards right as well. Now, yes, it, it gets a little bit lighter than you might like, but the reason why we are doing it is that it will, we will move with blacks towards the other dimension, which is quite a useful trick, that you make it lighter and you use blacks at the same time. It's the same like when you're using a proper editor uh, and you move with levels, with these little triangles. But let's, let's go back to that. So right, so we've, we've moved with exposure, with highlights, a little bit with blacks. What might be useful is shadows. I think those little houses might need to get out of the shadows a little bit, right? not too much, that should be enough. Now it does not really look exciting, does it? But why I am doing that is that I'd like you to show that fantastic little thing. This, this is called dehaze, that you are able to get rid of the haze covering the photo. So let me just show you. If I move this, what happens? The sky just get much more interesting. You can see that, how, how it works. It's, it's just amazing, amazing feature of the editors. Right, I'm overdoing it. Normally, if I do it for myself, I wouldn't be that wild. But still, you've seen that I, I, I've touched just five of these commands. And if I do it in RAW, I probably need really five or six seconds. And that's where we started from. And that's where we are after 10 seconds, which I think it's really amazing and important because when you are editing photos you should know that there's no way you really help photo if it's if it's uh, shot in a wrong way the, the sense of editing is just to do a small alteration and make a great photo even more perfect and let's continue then so we, we, we've seen that navigation here and if we now leave light go to color you might see there is the little thing called temperature, so we can make it make it towards yellow, well, to simulate sort of afternoon light. Or because actually we've been to Venice in February, so if I go to the end to the other direction towards the colder tones, it might actually fit to what we've seen there. But anyway, I'll I'll just probably go to the yellow side a little bit. Then obviously you have the vibrance, which will make your tones a bit more interesting and saturation and you can just do it a bit widely like I'm doing here or even you can desaturate a picture a little bit which which makes it in a way more interesting. Can you see that? Those little things. It's again it's up to you. Maybe I'll just stick to a little bit more saturated look. Well we, we, we could leave it here and again you can see that is the shot we started at and that's what we got again if i do it quickly i literally really need those eight ten seconds yes we can continue perhaps uh, what we would typically do is here in details we might add a bit of clarity and yes sharpening is always important yet so let's 
and make it a bit more sharper. But in, in that case, we probably might skip it. It's not that important. But just do remember, sharpening, sharp, sharpening is one of the most overlooked features of photo editing. So just keep your eye on it. And then, yes, if you belong to uh, Instagram generation, then you might like that little thing here called vignette. And you can just add, you know what I mean? Just don't, don't do it like that. It's really too much. But even if you are not a big fan of those wild things, you might know that that little trick was used by painters in perhaps 14th, 16th, 17th centuries. Because the trick is that if you make the corners darker, then you make the center of the painting or of the shot like more visible, more interesting, more clear. So once again, this is just a normal state of the shot. And then what happens when we add a little bit of darkening. So just do not overdo it, but a slight bit of vignette might really help. Right, so again, this is the starting point. It's not bad, is it? And that's where we are able to get really quickly. And again, now you say, oh, wow, that's, that's really wild. That's really overdone. And you are right. But I can guarantee that if I do not show you that first picture, and I just stick to this and I tell you, well, I used uh, quite nice uh, polarization filters and we were really lucky to have a nice light. No, you, you just wouldn't be able to tell me that this is a little bit uh, of cheating here. So thank you for your attention. I hope I, I might have given you a bit of inspiration. And well, the fingers crossed. Thank you. I am Jan from Potobohemian.